Okay guys, so now that um, we've got it all ready to go, um, got stock pids loaded up, so let's uh, see what it does. We'll take off. And it fires pretty well. Drops, loses altitude pretty well. It's not too bad. A little bit sluggish, but it's not too bad. So what we're going to do now is, is tune this up. Now I just want to show you that I have set So what we're going to do is ah, shit. Set our integral Of course we're connected to Bluetooth so we can do this pretty live To zero Right now if I do P here at this moment, the switch is in the middle. If I refresh, you'll see that P doesn't change. Whereas if I start pushing that up, you'll see P changes. So we need to do this to check to make sure it's working. Push it down, and P changes back down. Got to keep refreshing so I can read what's at now. Alright, so I'll set this to I. I is going up. I is going down. And D. The river is going up, so we should be right to go. So we're going to start with P. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take off, and I'm going to throw this thing around a lot. So I hope you can see it in the sky from here. So at the moment, it's really sort of doughy to fly. It doesn't really sort of hold its direction. It's sort of the wind will push it around a lot. But uh, what we'll do... Well, you see there's no D, so when he gets to the end of the... I'll try to be a bit closer, actually. So when you get to the end of your travel, it sort of shakes. See that? So it's not really locked in, I don't feel, at the moment. So I'm going to increase D, P, until I feel like it's locked in. Too much. See it's wobbling all the time now. I'm going to take some pee out of it. Move some altitude again. Not quite. I'm looking a little bit more. Not much. So if you're gentle on the sticks, you can still fly it. It's not too bad. It feels more locked in for me. Maybe just a couple more points. Okay. So that feels more to me like it's going exactly where I want it. Obviously it's still bouncing around. So what we're going to do now it's going to tune D. So we push that up, increase D. Oh, bring it back a bit closer so you can see what's going to happen here slowly. As your D increases, those little wobbles at the end of travel are going to disappear. Oh, wrong way. Oh. So I've just turned D increasing off. As you can see now. Where I place it, it goes there and just stops. Bring it back. There's a bit of wind here today, so it's pushing it away a lot. I reckon I can do a little bit more speed, so I'm going to put P on again and increase it a bit. Got a couple of little wobbles there, so we're going to do D again. Put it up a bit. Oop, 
Got a little bit of wobble under under it now. Increased D some more. Oh, I was turning D down, you see. I don't know if you saw that. Well, the wibble wobble came into it. Bit more D. See now, and what I do, it just goes there and stays there. Okay, now what we're going to do is increase I. So I'm going to put a put a um, angle on it. You watch it change. So I've got a bit of backing, backing up, pushes it over there. See that? Put a bit of angle towards me. I'm not touching anything, and slowly it turns away again because that's where the wind's coming from. See how that happens? So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it to I. We're going to start increasing I. We're going to pick an angle. See already it holds that angle better. Bring it a bit closer. See it holds that angle now. It did level out, so let's um, increase I some more. Pick an angle. See now it's holding that angle every time. So now, we have a pretty well programmed little quad. One of the things I like to do with a Tanafitz program is go up a little bit higher. When you're losing altitude, if it's programmed well, if it's tuned well, it'll come down nice and flat. Just like that. Not a lot of shaking and stuff. Yeah. So now, we're pretty much tuned. Just leave it there. Refresh. There's a lot higher values than I've got before that I've been trying to show you extremes. But yeah, no, now, so now I put a bit of um, angle on it. I can let go and it keeps going there. A little bit more angle on the back. I may have to adjust the throttle to keep it up. It just holds that angle beautifully. That's how you do it. Pretty simple really. Wouldn't recommend doing it with a GoPro on it. That's it. I hope that helps.